We're gonna learn two things. One is an object sitting on a table and someone is pulling it by an applied force at some angle, let's say 30 degree or 40 degree or 45 degree to understand few things like the X component of the applied force, the Y component of the applied force, the normal force, the force of friction, net force, acceleration, and the velocity. A box, box is 10 kilogram on a table, and we're gonna pull the box, we're gonna pull the box with some applied force, all right? And let's say that angle is 30 degree. Okay, we're gonna find a few things. How many things are you gonna find? Seven or eight things, and we're gonna put them on the tab. Fast applied force, and then what else are you gonna find? All right, x to pull, applied force at the x direction. So applied force at the y direction. This is we call pulling force. So now we're gonna find few. We're gonna find seven things. Exactly seven things. F pull at the x direction, and this is F pull, F pull at the y direction, and this is F normal, and this is F F, and this is F net, and this is acceleration, and finally the velocity. Okay, so you're gonna investigate it for 40 newton, and we're gonna investigate it for 30. Newton. All right, so we have lots of space. We're gonna do the math on this space. The first thing first, we're gonna find the weight of this box. The weight of this box is mg, and its tangent is 9.8, so 98 Newton. What is the Fn? Be careful. Do not, do not write 98 for f and y is that because the table receives some help because someone is pulling the box with 40 newton 40 newton some of the force acting at the y direction and that some force probably it is 20 newton would be subtracted from the weight and that would be the normal force so normal force would be less than 98 whatever it is, but it is less than 98. So let's see the normal force. To find the normal force first, we're gonna to have to do this. Pulling force, F pull at the, so you're gonna first do 40. So 40 at the X direction, 40 cosine uh, 30, so it should be 34.6. And 40 sine 30, which should be 20, okay? So this is 34.6, this is 20, okay? So 20, so this 98, 20 would be subtracted from 98 and that would be normal force. So what is the normal force? 78. And what is the force of friction? 78, and let's give you a mu A, let's say 0 0.3, 0 0.3. So 78 times 0 0.3, 78, times 0.3 would be 23.4, all right. So now net force is 34.6 minus 23.4, 34.6 minus 23.4, and that'd be 11.2 divided by 10, that would be 1.12, and the velocity would be increasing. If there is an acceleration, the velocity must be increasing. Now we're gonna do it for 30 Newton. Let's change the color and do it for 30 Newton. So F pole, now F pole would be at the X direction and Y direction. X direction would be 30 cosine 30. And this is 26, and that would be 30 sine 30. So this would be 15, obviously. Okay, good. So this is 26, this is 15. Normal force now is 98 minus 15. Now force, force of friction will be now 83 times 0.3. So 83 times 0.3 would be 25. Net force would be um, 
26 minus 25, 1. So acceleration is 1 divided by 10, 0 0.1. And velocity will be still increasing. All right, so this is how we are solving this problem. Okay, now we're going to do the next problem. What do you see next problem? Isaac is pulling. So this is Isaac. Isaac is pulling, applying 40 Newton at how much? 45 degree angle and Rav is uh, pulling the boat. Boat is on the river. Um, how much? 30 Newton, 37. Who is the boat? Pulling the boat with less than 40 Newton and Rav is pulling the boat with less than 30 Newton and Isaac is pulling the boat at 45 degree angle. I don't know, 45 degree is 45 degree angle. 45 and 37. 45 degree angle and that is pulling the boat with, with 37 degree angle. Who gets the boat? That's the question. So let's solve the problem. Brought to you by Brilliant.org. Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science.